Shalom. First and foremost, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakah Kwadash, Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone. Who rule well, teach well, being a great example to us, brothers. Just doing a quick little walk and talk, man. It's been a minute. You know, I got about an hour before I go in to work. You know, usually I'd be at the house right now. But it's good. But I want to talk about just evil spirits, man. You know, I just came from uh, over over at my uh, mother's house. She's not there, but you know, my... Uh, one of my siblings is there, you know, my brother's there, but, uh, you know, he knows about the truth. He knows that, you know, I'm an Israelite and, uh, he knows all these things. You know, there was a point in time whenever, uh, I was trying to tell my mother the, the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, you know, he had, he had, uh, she told him about it and stuff and, you know, he was basically trying to tell me and reason with me and like, yeah, she, all she knows is Jesus. We know the name, but, you know, but the thing is that there's coming a point in time whenever you're going to have to call on that name. You're going to have to call on the name of the Lord. The scriptures say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run up into it and are safe. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, you know, some of our people. You know, like when I just went over there, the same same brother that told my mother that and the same brother that knows the name, but he don't represent Israel or anything. I really wish he did, but that's not my control, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I was leaving, and it was just dark in the house, you know, and he was just sitting there in the dark. And I was like, why are you sitting here in the dark, man? Like, you going to turn some lights on or whatever? And I didn't realize that's what I said and shit. And he was like, no, I'm good. And it was just weird as hell, man. You know, it was like, damn, it's just dark as heck in here, man. You just sitting in here in the dark. And, you know, sometimes our people just have a real dark spirit on them, man. You know what I'm saying? Like a real evil type of spirit that uh, only, only the Lord can get rid of, man. You know? Only the Lord can get rid of that spirit, man. You know? Somebody over there. You know, so... I want to talk about how Saul had that dark spirit on him and the Lord put it on him. What the scriptures say also that uh, he'll send them strong delusions to make them believe a lie. That's the work of the Lord, man. You see? This is, uh, and just through the spirit, man, I just looking up certain scriptures. 1 Samuel 16, verses 14. But the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, departed from Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. So the Lord sends out evil spirits. Okay? Like, uh, you see? Like, um, like he did to Saul. Like he's doing to certain members of your family. You know, that, that don't want to get, don't, don't want to understand. They don't even want to be close to the God. They don't care. They, they just wish that you would stop talking about the Lord around them. You see? And, uh, and you can tell that you could tell that they got an evil spirit on them because we have the spirit, of, the spirit of discernment. You know, we can discern things. We can tell whenever people have a, a, a wicked spirit on them, man. And I can tell right now, you know, like, you know, I know that that's my brother and I love him and everything, but he got a he kind of got a bad, bad spirit on him, man. You know, I can feel it, you know, you know, you can feel those kind of spirits, you know, and, and it shows in your countenance, too. It shows like in your facial expressions and your like you can almost see the demons, man. You know, it's like a dark, dark aura over over a person. man. But uh, it says and Saul, Saul's servant said unto him, behold, now an evil spirit, an evil spirit of God troubleth thee. OK. An evil spirit of God troubled thee. Why? Because, you know, he was, uh, he was, uh, you know, doing everything the Lord told him not to do. Just like a bunch of our people on this earth right now. They're doing a lot of things that, you know, our Lord don't like them to do. And they're just basically, 
basically getting away with it, you know. And it's not going to, hello, it's not shaking, so, you know, they get, uh, they be having evil spirits upon them, man. Okay. They got real evil spirits upon them, man. Let me get this quick real quick. And this is supposed to be just a quick little walkie talk, man. No, I should have just went live with it so I can get some interaction. Uh, let me see real quick. Let me see. Because uh, the Lord sends some strong delusion, especially if he don't want you, man. He don't want you, and he'll send those strong delusions, okay, to make you believe a lie. Yeah, first or second Thessalonians. Slack you. Maybe I should take this down. I just wanted to get the scene, you know. I can take it down a little bit down here. This is second Thessalonians. Chapter two. And uh we'll start at uh verses two verses eleven. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11. And for this cause, and what cause? We got to go up. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Man, this is, this is all good, man. I'll start at 7. Because that strong delusion, you know what I'm saying? Esau Edom has put a strong spell on our people too. You know, but the Lord let them get caught up by Esau Edom. The Lord let our people just go through this type of stuff. Okay, to, to make them believe a lie, like the scripture is about to say, it says. And that's why they so dark. That's why they so. You could just feel the evilness up on our people, man, especially on some of your family members and shit. They be talking stuff behind your back, be t t telling people that you weird, that you, you know, they sent you with a dress on or this, that and the other, sent you with this long garment on or. And then you'd be telling them, I'm about to go preach. I preach on this day and this day. They never show up. Some of them be acting like they want to see you preach, but they don't want to see you preach, man. They scared. They're going to be condemned. Like in the book of John, chapter uh, 3 and 18 through 20. They don't want to see it. It says, for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who would now let if will let, and that's the Lord. Okay, the Lord is letting all these things happen. Okay, to show the righteousness, the, the difference between good and evil. To separate the righteous from the unrighteous. Okay, to gather his elect. To purge Jerusalem and search Jerusalem with candles, man. It's all the will of the Lord, man. All from the beginning of time, you know. He set it up, his movie from the beginning of the time. To separate us from our family members and from people in this world. If you're a part of this truth, if, you know, the spirit of the Lord is working with you. You can feel it. You can feel it that you just can't vibe with people no more. You can't vibe with that, you know, people, you know, the Thanksgivings and Christmases. And you just can't vibe with it, man. You know? And, you know, eating pork and all this other shit. And then, then you got certain, you know, your mama or somebody, she'll still be trying to get you to eat pork after all these years and shit. Like, well, just eat it this time. And all. she has no idea, man. <laughs> you see, you can't vibe with all this stuff. And, it, and that's those strong delusions, man. You see, it's like nobody wants to support, support us because we're changing our, changing our bodies and changing our minds. They don't want to support that, man. They would rather be still niggas in the world, man. Because that's what they was used to. They was used to you sitting there smoking weed. Sitting there uh, drinking and carrying on and fighting. And, you know, I went over to get a plate for Thanksgiving, you know, because, you know. And, and before I got there, the same dude that I've been talking about, you know, my little brother who has the evil spirit on him. You know, he didn't cursed out my damn cousin who came from out of town, cursed her out, called her fat and all types of shit. And I'm like, man, that's the spirit of the Lord, man. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't over there, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, like 
So, you know, these holidays, our people, they just want you to be the same old nigga. And like, what the, what's the, they say misery love co company, man. They want you to be the same old miserable nigga. But whenever you representing something different and something clean, something pure, they don't support that, man. I'm about to have to just go live, man, because I ain't really feeling this. I want you to see my whole screen. But let me, let me, let me just get the rest of this real quick. It says, even him who's coming is after, uh, no, I started at 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. It says, uh, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Okay, who the Lord's going to, he's going to reveal. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And the spirit of the Lord's mouth is his prophets. His prophets out on the highway and byway. Every time we go out, man, we see ambulances running, going past. Every single video, you can hear ambulance in the background. We're chanting this place down, man. People dying. It says, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Okay, Esau, Edom, so-called white man. And with all deceitfulness and unrighteousness in them that perish because he's teaching everybody. He's teaching my brother. He's teaching all these people to go against the Lord. Everything in America is contrary to the Lord, man. Everything is contrary to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Elishai. Everything. And Esau Edom teaches all these things. It's man with man and uh, trans, sex, trans, you can change your sex whenever you're just a kid. And if somebody says anything about it, they'll take them to jail and, you know, force vaccinations on your people and your, and your children. And you got to take this or else this, that, and the other. All these things, man. Esau Edom is forcing it. Rap music. Okay. Okay. They took, they took a prayer out of the school. Okay, they took they 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 replaced it with uh drag shows and shit. They're trying to sense. They're trying to uh legalize pedophilia, slowly but surely. Calling them maps, minor attracted persons. All these things, Esau Edom pushes in the earth, and it's a vibration of the earth, and and that's how these kids grow up. That's how people grow up with these Christmases and all these weird weird ass heathenistic vibrations man therefore people they they don't like the lord they're like man all i know is christmas all i know is this all i know is eating pork i couldn't imagine myself not eating no pork i gotta have my bacon with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they may be saved they might be saved but our people don't want to be saved, man. <laughs> For this, the Most High Yahweh shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. Yeah. Like I was talking about, you know what I'm saying? Sitting there in the dark. My brother was sitting there in the dark, man. You know, and I don't want to just make it, you know, I'm just talking about people in general. But, you know, you sitting there in the dark and just sitting there and just, you just like the darkness and shit. And whenever I, whenever I asked him that, it just... It, it struck in my mind that maybe he just liked the darkness. He, he he lives in darkness, man. He don't want to believe in the Lord. He know the name and all these other things. But he don't like God. He don't he, he hates I feel like he hates the Lord, man. And those are the people you gotta try to stay away from, man. Because you never know whenever the Lord's judgment gonna come down. You might be in the way. Be in the way like Lot. Lot you know, had to hurry up and get out of Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, Lord might bring judgment on your family members. You better be out the way whenever he does, man. You see? It's not a joke, man. And you don't want people to die or anything. You don't want people to perish. But hey, we're going to see them on the other side. But on this side, they just too evil, man. They too wicked. They hate the Lord. They hate anything good. Then they wonder why you don't want to hang around them and shit. You see? We got to get out of here, man. This place is through, man. It says, verse 12, 2 Thessalonians 2, and I'll start at 11 again. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie, 
that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness, man. Pleasure, had pleasure in unrighteousness. A lot of our people have pleasure in eating pork. You know, all these things, talking about some hog balls, and they have pleasure in all these things that, that are against the Lord, man, that the Lord don't like. And they'll, they'll say, uh, well, Jesus died for my sins, so I could do what I want for right now. And, you know, like that's, that's not the case, man, because in the book of Malachi, I think the Lord said, I'll change not so that you sons of Jacob be not consumed. So before Yahweh Shah came on the scene, our God was the same God as he is right now. Remembering the sins and iniquities, and he gave judgment to his son because if it wasn't for his son, Yahweh Shah, our big brother, man, the Lord would have just took us out, man. But guess what? Like father, like son, man. Who's judging the earth? Who's killing all these people right now? The Lord is, Yahweh Shah, his son, just like he would have been. Who's taking out everybody, taking out these children, taking out all these people on the earth? Yahweh Shai, the Lord, the Lord is the one that people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. You see? <laughs> Let me see if I can find something real quick. Okay. John 5 and 22. You see? Yeah. It says, for the Father, and this is red letters too. You see, I'll start at, uh, I'll start at 20, John 5 and 20. It says, for the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth. So, like Father, like Son. If, if the Heavenly Father don't like you eating pork, he still don't like you eating pork. And guess what? His, his Son don't like you eating pork. He, he went on that cross and died, not for you to eat pork. But, but but for you to come back to the truth, for you to follow the law, statute, and commandments, okay, and come back to the truth and not be doing those things, man, because the Heavenly Father wanted to kill you and destroy you, man. You see? And he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel. Verse 21, for as the Father raises up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the son whom he will, quicken of whom he will. And we was dead, man, like Ezekiel 37. We was dead, you know, like my brother was sitting there in the dark and shit, just dead, a dead state. Our people are dead. They're, they're fucking dead. All they do is Instagram, TikTok. All they do is Facebook, world star hip hop, watching each other beat each other up. Like they love seeing people suffering. They quick to pull their phones out when somebody dying or something. You see, just wicked. Our people are just wicked, man. You see, and the Lord woke us up. He 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 raised us from the dead. He can raise them up from the dead too. But hey, he he don't want to. He don't want everybody. So you know, it says verse twenty two: For the Father judgeth no man. This is the point. But have committed all judgment unto the the Son. So everybody that you see getting judged. Dying from horrible deaths, mudslides, hurricanes, tornadoes, all these things are happening because the Lord, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is making them happen, man. Our Lord, Yahweh Shah, he's making it happen. The Heavenly Father just sitting back. You see? And these people think that our Lord's a teddy bear, man. They think that he's a big teddy bear. That he's come and save you and give you a big kiss and a big hug and shit all the time. But that's not the case, man. You see? That's not the case. You see? Yep. That's not the case, man. And I had another scripture pulled up. This is Romans 8. It says, uh, yep, like, like, we, like I was just explaining, we was just reading in John 5, you know, this is Romans 8 and 3, and it says, for what the law did not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, 
the Most High sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, okay? That the righteous of the law, not the wicked and the righteous, but the righteous of the law, the ones who want to keep the law, the ones who want to come back to the Lord, not the ones who bat the Lord's hand down, but the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled and us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit, after the ones who are trying their hardest and doing their due diligence. Those ones, those ones, man. That's why the Lord died for those ones. What the Lord say, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Thine are mine and thine are, thine are mine and uh, thine are thine. And no man can pluck them out of my father's hand. Roughly paraphrasing. So there's just people out here, man, that's just, just, just walking around dark, man. You know, just, you know, like the elder Hawad, he was talking about in his video the other day, his family members was all in town because two of his cousins got taken out by the Lord. You know, that's the kind of spirit we got to be in these days, man. Like a lot of death is about to happen to people around us, especially, man, people you love. That's why it's imperative to walk in the spirit and walk walk with the Lord, man, so we can at least try to save our children, man. And we ain't going to be able to, like, we, something might happen to them, shit. But guess what, man? Hey, we got to try our damnedest, man, that, that we get on those chariots, man. That we get on those chariots, man, and, you know, hopefully the Lord will spare our children, too. You know, a lot of brothers got daughters, you know, little sons and shit, you know. And teaching their kids, teaching our children the, the, the law the law of the Lord, teaching our kids the right way, man. So that they can always remember, always reminding them, did you pray? What's the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Like I teach my kids, man. You see? It says for verse 6, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, man. And everybody, all our people are carnally minded, man. Because the carnal, carnal mind is enmity with Yahweh, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So all these people was already chosen to have strong delusions on them, man. Bunch of our people, bunch of people that you know is just going to perish, man. The scripture in the second edge, it says, let the multitude perish then that was born in vain, man. And I'll, I'll close it out with that. Because that's what it is, man. You see, it's in second address, what is it, eight? It says, second address, eight and 55. It says, uh, I want to get that one born in vain, though. Let me see. That's, I think it's, it's in the same, uh, it's in the same. Subject to all these alarms and shit, man. Subject to all these alarms, and we gotta, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. That's alarm. Let me know that I gotta hurry up and go to work here in a minute. Now, we gotta get the fuck out of here, man. It says, "Let the multitude." This is Second Edges chapter nine and twenty-two. Okay, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. That means a lot of people were born in vain, man. For the, for the Lord's movie, man. They're not gonna get this truth. They're not gonna get it. Which was born in vain and let my grape be kept in my plant. And what's that? His elect. That's actually wanting to get right, man. That's actually wanting to do right, man. That fear the Lord and they have faith in the Lord that he's going to save them. Okay? They do their due diligence to make their call and election sure, man. That are bringing in fruit. Okay? That the Lord, you know, that, that, that that's trying to add to that penny that the Lord gave them, man. It says... And my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. Okay. With great labor, the Lord said he made it perfect, man. Okay. And, and, and scriptures, man, hey, they teach us, man. They teach us and, and they comfort us, man. They teach us, they comfort us that, hey, a bunch of people going to die. Lord willing, I'm not one of those people. 
But just we know that through the scriptures, these things must first come to pass, man. They got to come to pass in order for the Lord to come back, you know, in order for us to go home, man. That's, that's all we want to do is go home sometimes, man. You know, we love our people. We love our family members and stuff. But if they wicked, hey, you can't do nothing about that. The Lord made them that way for a reason, man. And it's crazy whenever you when you think about it, it's like, damn, the Lord could have made me that way, man. You know, how did I even wake up? You know, the Lord loves me. The Lord must love me, man. Because you was in the world like that. And if you see the countenance on, on some of these men, some of these people out here in the earth, man. You see? What's the scripture say? A uh, man's countenance. Let me look up that. You, if you see the countenance of them, man, you'll see. You just you can almost see the demons on them, man. I don't even know how to spell countenance. A man's countenance maketh his face to shine. Let me spell it. I don't even know if this is the one, but let me see. I think it's in Psalms or something, but basically the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, uh, when the spirit of the Lord is on a man, basically, roughly paraphrasing, okay, it maketh his face to shine, man. I think it's in Psalms or in Proverbs. Let me see. Might be in Psalms or Proverbs. Uh, it says the heart, Ecclesiasticus, this 13 and 25. It says the heart of a man changeth his countenance. Okay. Whether it be good or evil. And a merry heart make up a cheerful countenance, man. Like, <laughs> you, you, you can tell whether people are good or evil by their, their facial expression, by their countenance, by the evil uh, aurora that's around them, man. You see? You can tell that they're evil or not, man. This is, uh, look at that, Ecclesiasticus. Both of them in Ecclesiastes. A man may be known by his look. And one that understand hath understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him, man. You see? <laughs> you see? The wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkeneth her countenance like south cloth, man. See, a countenance is, is very important. Okay? That dark spirit that be on people, man. You can always tell it too, man. You can always you can always tell these people some people are just, just wicked, man. You can feel it, and they can feel that you're good, and they got spirits on them. Like uh, when you Howard Shaw was talking to that, um, when those spirits was, that was on that man, it's like, why you had, why have you come to torment to a son of the son of the Most High? You know what I'm saying? Like, and he made them run into that those swine, and they ran off the cliff. That's how spirits be on people, man. They be on these people like that. You see what I'm saying? They be on these people just like that, man. You see? Anyway, with that, man, hopefully this message was edifying. It's basically just going to walk and talk, you know, before I go in here to work. Lord willing, it's edifying, man. Lord willing, I can make another one talking about the countenance, man, because that's very important, you know, through the spirit. The countenance of a man, you can always tell, man. You can always feel it. The Lord gave us that spirit of discernment, man. Anyway, with that, man, shalom.